In today's video, you will learn two ways to bypass Google account verification from any Android phone. With these two methods, you can bypass or remove Google account after doing a factory reset of your Android phone. And that is coming up. Uh. As you can see here, I have an Android phone that is stuck on this Google account screen. Since I don't remember my Google account credentials, I cannot go further than the screen. So let's start fixing this problem with our first method. Our first method is using a software to bypass Google account from any Android phone. So in this video, I'm going to use the software called Droid Kit. You can get it from the link given in the video description below. So just click on free download and install the software into your Windows or Mac computer. After installing it, open it up. Once open, this is the interface of the software. From these options, select FRP Bypass. As you can see with the software, you can bypass Google account from any Android phone such as Xiaomi, Redmi, Oppo, Vivo, Sony and more. Alright, now connect your phone to computer using your USB cable. Once your phone is connected, click on start and then wait for this process to complete. Next, click on this green button. Now select your phone's Android version. So in my case, this option is more suitable to my phone. In your case, you can select whichever option you want. Then click on next. Now you need to follow these instructions in order to bypass Google account from your phone. These instructions will be different depending on what phone you are using. In my case, I am using a Samsung phone. So I have to go to the welcome screen. If you are using a Samsung phone like me, just from welcome screen, tap on emergency call, then type star hash zero star hash and then you will see the screen. Now leave your phone as it is. Now from your computer, click on reset, click OK and now wait for this process to complete. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks, but for me, it means a lot. So thank you so, so much if you do. Once the bypassing process is completed, your phone will restart by itself. Now, just set up your phone as if it's brand new. While setting up your phone, when you come to this sign-in screen, now you can see there is a skip option before this option was not there. Now you can add your own Gmail account if you want. So I'm just going to skip it. It's up to you if you want to add your email address or not. After that again go through these options. Okay after setting up your phone. When you go to your phone settings. Go to Google. Now you can see, now you can add your own Google account to use Google services. Our second method is using Odin to bypass Google account verification from an Android phone. Before showing you the process, there are two things that you should remember. First, this method works with Samsung devices only. And the second thing is, this method is very complex. And if you don't know what you are doing, then you will end up damaging your phone instead of fixing it. So, do it at your own risk. Alright, now let me show you how this method works. First of all, find out your Samsung phone's model number. There are two ways to do it. The first option is using the box. Somewhere on the box, model number of every phone is written. Here is mine. If you don't have the box, then don't you worry. There is another way to do it and that is by using recovery mode. In order to put your phone into recovery mode, connect it to your computer using your USB cable. Then turn it off. Once your phone is completely turned off, now press and hold power button and volume up button together. Just keep press and holding these two buttons for a few seconds. Your device will vibrate once. When you see this Samsung Galaxy logo, just release both buttons and then you will get to this page. So let me zoom in to show you these options clearly. When you are here, write down these two things. First, the, on the second line, there is a number. So as you can see, I hope you can see it clearly. In my case, mine is 13. In your case, it will be different. This is your phone's Android version. 
and on the same line after the forward slash whatever number is written that is going to be your phone's model number so write down these two things because you are going to need it now on your computer open up your favorite browser then type your model number followed by firmware download it should be like this then click on the first link and scroll down then select your country after that you will see all these firmwares now select the ones that is lower than your android phone's current version basically we are going to downgrade our android version in order to bypass google account if you don't see lower version of android then go to second or third page you will find one okay after downloading the firmware the next thing is download samsung drivers so just type download samsung drivers and download samsung usb drivers from official samsung.com okay the next thing you need is odin so just type odin download and download latest version of odin on your windows computer after downloading everything first of all install samsung drivers after installing samsung drivers now extract your firmware next extract odin once extracted the folder will open by itself so now click on odin.exe and run it as administrator click ok once odin is open now you have to put your samsung phone into download mode alright in order to put your phone into download mode first of all connect it to computer then turn it off when your phone screen goes black press and hold volume up button and volume down button just keep press and holding these two buttons after that you will see this screen now leave your phone as it is and if you see this message within Odin that means your phone is successfully connected ok next click on BL and select the folder in which you have the firmware of your phone then select the BL file and click on open then click AP and select the AP file the AP file takes a little bit longer to load because it's a huge file after adding all these files just ignore the user data file don't select it then just click on start and wait for Odin to flash your phone once the flashing process is completed Odin will give you this message as you can see here it says pass if there was some error then it will turn red okay now just close Odin because your job is done now on the other side wait for your phone to restart once your phone is restarted you will see this welcome screen now go through this setup process when you arrive to the screen as you can see there is a skip option before there was no skip option so if you want to use your own google account you can do so but i'm going to skip it after going through the setup process now when you go to your settings go to account as you can see now there is no account attached to this phone now you can use your own google account to use google services so there you have it guys that is my video on how to bypass google account verification from an android phone please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below i would love to hear them and also if this video was helpful to you by any means then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends your one like and share means a world to me so thank you so much if you do and if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.